Hey guys, so um, I'm prepping the water tank right now um, to receive water from the shower. So we've got the shower flange in, uh, the, sh the Schroeder, Schluter uh, shower flange, which is a two inch flange. And this is a slip that goes right into the flange. Uh, and then it comes out. I'm, I'm not sure what this piece is called, but um, this goes to another two inch piece. I cut it in half. You can see here that it's about half as short as it should be. Then I go to a reducer, uh, and it is a, a slip reducer. And I cut this side of it, uh, and I cut, no, I just cut one side of it to make it even shorter. So it's a slip adapter. I put that in, and then We've got um, another adapter that is a one and a half slip to one and a half inch male threaded, which goes into the Hepbo valve. Um, I believe I cut that one a little bit as well. Then it goes back to the male one and a half inch on the other end of the Hepbo valve goes to a female threaded to slip one and a half inch then there's a one and a half inch little piece of pipe in there a one and a half and I cut it down real close so it could come together um, and then it goes to the 90 degree I believe that's called a street 90 degree street anyway this is an inch and a half so all of this is inch and a half to 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 two inch um, right here so anyway so you're gonna have to go to Lowe's this is all available at Lowe's you don't have to special order anything you just have to put it together I used a chop saw to cut this uh, this part of the elbow off to shorten it uh, and I cut these uh, these two pieces uh, I made them a little bit shorter. Also, another reason why I cut them is because you'll see when you go to Lowe's, if you're going to do it this way, it had a really big ridge in it, um, which I didn't like. I don't want it to obstruct the flow of water. So I cut, you can actually see the, the two pipes in there that are coming together. One is the slip and one is the uh, the one and a half to one and a half inch um, threaded and I cut it as close as I could together um, but you'll see what I mean when you put it all together at, before you cut it that it just doesn't look right so I used a chop saw to cut it anyway um, just using some single step uh, medium PVC cement and uh, just to show you what I've done under here I went ahead and dropped the water tank because um, I had to make some adjustments, of course, and to uh, put in our um, our drain. So here's the... Uh, don't pay attention to that. That's just a plug. Um, so this is the Schluter 2.5 or 2-inch drain valve. Um, the only way I was able to make this work is I actually cut... Uh, a hole in this panel here which is very thin and then I used a um, a sawzall to cut it down even further and then I used the uh, the bead trim here uh, and then of course um, did some gosh everything is escaping me today uh, the primer and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all together. I'm not sure if I'm going to glue it in today or not. I don't really need to glue it in right now, but... And of course, this is removable. All this stuff is glued together except for the Hepvo portion, which you can unscrew if this Hepvo ever fails or for whatever reason you need to get in there, you can still get in there. that's that you can see that it barely comes down 
which is exactly how I want it because the, uh, the water tank comes just about right where this is. So I'm just going to use a very short piece of one and a half inch PVC schedule 40 in there to go to our, um, our rubber gasket, um, that I ordered on Amazon, uh, that's going to go into the water tank, which I'll show you in upcoming videos, but it's just perfect. And if not, I can even cut this down this uh, end I can cut that in half if I need to if the margins aren't right but uh, and also this obviously is not up all the way I don't want to get it up too far to where it's too hard to get back out so um, but it'll go up another quarter inch or so and that's pretty much it um, the hard parts gonna be measuring uh, where to put the rubber gasket um, on the tank and then lifting it up and getting in the, getting it in there uh, so really the measurements have to be perfect to uh, lift the tank up and and fit those two pieces together so that should be fun but um, one step at a time right uh, I hope this video is helpful on how to deal with the uh, shower drain see you in the next video okay guys so I just got the uh, the piece glued in as you can see and it just barely misses that bottom piece I'm not sure if you can see that or not but it's not touching so we want to have clearance if in case this piece ever fails we want to be able to remove it so obviously this is oh, uh, this glued in this is all glued this is not glued these pieces are glued here but it's not glued here so we can remove this piece at a later date if we need to hopefully we'll never need to because we'll have to drop the gray water tank um, so what I said before was a little bit wrong it's actually it doesn't come down at all below in fact it's above it just a little bit it was just an illusion my head wasn't high enough so you can see here that it's basically just even with the top there so really we just need a piece um, that's gonna be uh, just barely hanging down just barely uh, just enough to go into the um, the rubber grommet that I ordered which I'll show you in the next video hey guys so uh, we're about to fit the rubber grommet here and I'm gonna show you the best way um, to get this right the first time and if you're looking at my front end pieces here, you can see that I reconfigured it. Um, this is a three quarters inch ball joint, ball joint, but this is a, um, I'm sorry, three quarters inch, yeah, three quarter ball joint or ball valve, one half inch um, hole. So it would be constricting to put this on this side also because it's so close to the wall right here you can't untwist it if it ever breaks so I decided to get an adapter um, a three-quarter inch adapter to a brass fitting three-quarter to the ball valve um, and then I just put a spigot on this side the sink actually because the sink is going to be farther over from this tank it's going to be more of over here area um, I can't drop it straight down to the top of the tank so we're going to use this hole here and come right into the side of it so anyway um, I'm going to show you here I just glued in the piece just like I showed you in the last video I'm going to take this um, oil based paint and I'm going to dip this end into that and then I'm going to, me and my wife are going to raise the tank up and press it against that uh, pipe as much as possible. And it's going to create an imprint on the tank so I know where to drill. I'll show you how it works. And that's what it looks like. All right, guys, you're going to use a hole saw to cut this hole. It's a two and a half inch. And just try to get it as best as you can to make it perfect. It's got to be perfect.
perfect, perfect. It's drilled and now I'm gonna cut a new little piece. And this is all just a test. I'm not gonna silicone this in just yet. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill this with some WD-40 just to make it slick. I'm gonna use a, another, I'm gonna cut a new piece of pipe to put up in that, that uh, elbow, that 90 degree. I didn't uh, glue that in because I put paint on it, so I took that out and threw it out. So now I have to test to make sure it really is the right, was in the right place uh, before I secure everything. So I'm going to cut that piece, put uh, WD-40, and then put WD-40 on there as well so it goes up in there nice and easy. Uh, all while my wife is going to take that end, and I'm going to take this end, I'm going to look through this hole and make sure that it's all a good contact and goes in properly before we secure it all back in. Okay. All right, guys, so my wife's holding it up on the uh, underside there, and uh, it worked perfectly. Um, push it up. Can you push it up more? Oh, well, it was in, but anyway, hang on. Push it. Push it. Push it. Well, it was in there. You get the idea. Um, hang on, let's see if I can. Push it. Oh. Okay. Push, push. I'm pushing. You're pushing on, you need to push on the back end. Which, this Back end only, yeah. It pushes in all the way. All right, well, you get the idea. It's in, that's how you do it. I'll see you in the next video. All right guys, so I'm gonna re-foam. Um, the other stuff was a little too thick, so this is an eighth of an inch by three quarters of an inch, which will fit perfect. Um, the other stuff was just too thick. I'm going to go ahead and tape that on. I'm going to go ahead and silicone the grommet and then we're going to install it for good. So I just siliconed it in. That's done. Um, you can see that it goes down below the tank margin just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice little spray here. Um, and then I'm going to glue the final piece in up at the top, uh, but I have to measure first. So I'm going to go ahead and fit this in. That's in all the way. And now because it was completely flat with the surface, I'm only going to leave enough just to put this piece on. So really it should only be up about a half an inch. Maybe that's three quarters. I don't know. I'm going to mark it and cut it, glue it, and then put it in. I'm going to use uh, WD-40 uh, so it slips in nice and easy. So I just glued in that piece. Just remember I, I, uh, I put it all the way down in the rubber grommet using WD-40 and I only cut uh, just enough to where it would fit in that 90 degree elbow because it's right, it's literally right at this edge. So I use that as a, an example. I actually got lucky on that so I didn't have to do any weird measurements. So we're just gonna grease this up with some WD-40 all the way around uh, make sure the grommets kind of soaking with it and then we're just gonna brute force push it up in there and then we're going to um, put the brackets back on with this new foam trim that we ordered on Amazon that's a lot smaller I actually might even cover these foam pieces with WD-40 just so there's no friction pushing it up that's what I want to do see you in the next video guys the installation is complete I just have to bolt down the bolts uh, it works a lot better with a thinner foam. Uh, I took this spigot off because it's, I think it's in the way of this thing here. It, it eh, actually it might work out or I can use it there. I was thinking about extending it over here, but I think I can use it. Um, see if I can get you a good view up here. I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. Oh, it's tough.
There we go. You can see that it's fitting there perfectly. Let's see if I can get a, there it is, inside the tank. It's all flush. Look at that. I'm very proud of this work. I really hope this video helped because it was a total pain to video and do this. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.